Assalamu alaikum dear student today we are going to start a new topic of zoo geography it is a second lecture of zoo geography in first lecture we have described the basic terminologies of zoo geography what is zoo geography and what are different branches of zoo geography so here we will discuss about paleo geography and different uh, theories uh, that describe the earth history either it is a single continent or different uh, small or large continents let's start the lecture first we will discuss what is paleo geography actually it comprises of two words paleo means history and graphy means earth or continent it actually describe the history of earth Earth, either the history of Earth either actually deals with the past continent and present continent, either both are same or different. Paleo geography actually also uh, describe the similar fauna on both on present and past continent. If the fauna on past and present continent were same, it means at one point both continents were same and single continent that were later diverged. The second terminology is paleomorphology, paleogeomorphology. It actually comprises of three words. Paleo means history, geo means earth, and morphology means structure. It focused on study of landforms there are different landforms present on the earth and if we study the landforms this uh, study is called paleogeomorphology there are two uh, important principles of paleogeography the first principle is to map the position uh, past position of continent and ocean basin ocean uh, ocean basins and the second principle is to illustrate the earth changing geographic feature through time. There are different applications of paleogeography. If a person do paleogeography, it enable to study the field of petroleum geology. How it help uh, in the study of petroleum geology? Actually, in ancient geomorphological environment of earth surface, it was preserved in stratigraphic graphic record of the earth and this analysis of sedimentary basin enable to help in field of petroleum geology it also enable the evolutionary development of extinct species it means uh, the species that were present in the past and uh, there is no uh, descendant now in this present era we can um, we can uh, understand we can uh, we can uh, uh, say uh, we can say uh, how the species was present in past and uh, how its life was how uh, uh, how that species was reproduced how uh, the what is the feeding habitat what is the um, uh, what is the uh, life history of that uh, species uh, which was present in the past and uh, bibliography help uh, help in evolutionary development of that species. It also help in development of continental drift theory, and it also enable uh, the current uh, plate tectonic theories, and uh, it info it provide information about the location and shape of Pangaea or Pangaea, and Pangaea was the single continent that was broken down into two different continents. Mapping past continent and ocean, there are different uh, uh, different terms that describe the mapping um, of past continent and ocean. When, uh, one by one, we will discuss each. The first one is paleomagnetism. Actually, if a person study paleomagnetism, it enable them to study either the rock was magnetized in the past near the earth surface or not. It also enable to study the earth magnetic field that was preserved in rock. By doing this, it enabled to discover some minerals at the time of formation that can magnetize and these minerals are parallel to earth magnetic field which was made in 19th century. As you can see on the right side of diagram, 
here the first picture which was taken about millions of years and the positive and negative charges are actually normal polarity and reverse polarity and it was shrunken down in 1.5 million years ago and these rocks also uh, elaborate these rocks uh, uh, elaborate the illustrate the magnetic uh, rocks that was present in the past and till now linear magnetic anomalies linear magnetic anomalies are commonly used to define the extinct of oceanic crust and to estimate the age of oldest oceanic crust and thus the continent ocean boundary that are symptomatic of chemical of complete continental breakdown hotspot track the first thing we need to uh, understand what is hotspot actually hotspot is actually a hot area which is present in mantle below the earth crust because uh, earth crust is the first and outermost uh, layer of earth below the earth crust it is another layer and other uh, layer it is uh, uh, mantle and inside the mantle it is a hot uh, area this hot area is called hot spot then what is hot spot uh, track it is actually a chain of volcanoes that was formed when the tectonic plate move and this tectonic plate move actually due to a uh, hot spot are due to uh, eruption of a volcano paleo geo biogeography it it actually describe the distribution of different uh, animals and plants in different regions of the earth when you will study the distribution of different plants it will be paleo phytogeography and if you will study the distribution of animals in different regions of the world it will be paleo zoo geography and it will enable uh, to find the earth history of different plants and animals in different regions of the world to better understand what organisms were present in the past and which organisms are actually present in the present and what changes actually occur between present and past era second uh, the fifth one is paleo climatology this terminology actually explain the climate of present or previous era and it also enable to understand what are the causes of that climate change and if the climate change what are uh, the effect of climate change on different um, uh, different animals and plant uh, that was present in the past or present and what happened in the past when the climate change uh, in different continents of the earth geological and tectonic history uh, there are different theories that describe the uh, geological and tectonic history the first theory is theory of permanent uh, tectonic a uh, theory of permanent of continent it means uh, this theory actually proposed by lel in 1830 he said the present position of continent is same as were in past it means position not change he also said continent continents not change but earth phase change because of volcanism and what is volcanism it is actually the eruption of volcano uh, which is present in the mantle cavity due to hot spot over the earth crust so different scientists said if the position of the earth change then how is it possible the continent would not change so this theory have objection if the face of the earth will change then definitely the continent will also the position of continent will also change so this theory was rejected then another theory was proposed and this theory was theory of land bridges this theory states that in past land bridges were present and these land bridges were act as a migratory route these land bridges were uh, same as uh, uh, in the size of continent these are not the small uh, land bridges these land bridges are uh, like a huge continent so uh, if the these land bridges were in the size of continent but later these land bridges were broken down for example there are different there are different land bridges which are present on the earth 
we will uh, uh, take an example which is south At atlantic bridge uh, south uh, south atlantic bridge it is present between two different uh, countries it is present in south america and africa uh, as you can see on the diagram uh, here on the right side it is africa and uh, on the left side it is the south america and between both of these countries here a uh, land bridge which is atlantic land bridge when the different scientist uh, studies the uh, fauna of different uh, countries uh, between the land bridges in for example fish ostrich turtle uh, that was present in both south america and africa the similarity between both continent of fauna states due to presence of land bridge but there are few uh, confusions uh, in the mind of a different uh, uh, scientist uh, they said um, how uh, the different are similar fauna are present between both continent to understand it best they uh, did a dna sequencing of different fauna like monkey uh, ostrich parkopine of both continent but sequence of all these organisms were totally different it means these organisms are not closely related second thing is if these organisms present on both continent it means the land bridge was present only during oligocene period and oligocene period is the earliest period of geological time scale but if the land bridge was present during oligocene period then another two mem uh, organisms the first one is angolate and the second one is adentate should present in south america as well in africa but the angolate is only present in south america but it is not present in africa then different scientists said that if the land bridge act as a migratory route it means adentate and angolate should be present in both south america and africa but there is no similarity it is present only in south america so it is concluded that continental side bridge theory not have strong evidence means was not supported and it is not have a strong evidence to elaborate it so this theory was also rejected third theory is theory of continental drift actually continental drift drift means changing in position it is proposed by a scientist called wegener it is proposed by wegener and wegener was a meteorologist meteorologist are those uh, persons who study the climate in detail due to it uh, due to his profession he actually study the climate of different continent and he said if the climate of a single continent in one time will be harsh if uh, uh, the climate of uh, if the climate of continent at one time is harsh and uh, after 10 uh, years or 20 years if uh, the same continent was visited it may be cold or something else so uh, it means the continent changed due to two reasons the first reason is due to uh, position and the second is due to climate but position is not uh, sorry climate is not a strong evidence because inclination of the earth and solar radiation uh, is not a, uh, it is not provide the same uh, strong evidence because uh, climate of single continent is always same Uh, uh when for example when you uh, visited a continent on the winter after 10 years in winter uh, the climate of that continent will, will be same uh, it will never change so uh, the climatic uh, point was rejected of wegener uh, but the position point was accepted uh he uh, describe uh, the position of uh, by taking the evidence of uh, position he said uh, 
the upper uh, surface of the earth is earth crust and uh, this earth crust crust is composed of two layers the first one is sial and the second one is sima sial actually uh, it is the upper part of the earth and it comprises of uh, silica and aluminium and the second is sima it is the lower part of the earth and it is composed of silica and magnesium as uh, as you can see it is si is is silica and mi is the magnesium si is a silica and al is a aluminium aluminium cr is composed of these two uh, and it is present on the upper surface and sima is it is present at the lower surface and both are present at above the mantle so he said that a continent are uh, float over the oceanic crust as we can see we already said the hot mantle or hot area is present inside the mantle uh, due to volcano uh, uh, the volcano eruption could be done in mantle and this uh, volcano could erupt and uh, come on the earth surface uh, so due to mantle uh, the earth uh, crust could be moved so uh, uh, the wagner wagner said all the co continent were together in 550 million year and uh, these um, continent were called Peng uh, pangaea in 550 million year ago but uh, later the pangaea was divided into two different uh, continents the first one is laurasia and the second is gondwana in laurasia north america asia and europe were present and in gondwana africa arabia uh, antarctica india and australia were present most acceptable theory is plate tectonic theory and uh, this theory is the base of uh, the base of this theory is uh, uh, that we have discussed before is a continental drift theory and this theory was proposed by j a tozo wilson in 1960 geophysical techniques developed and measurement of earth magnetic field mapping of oceanic plate actually when uh, wagner proposed his theory theory of continental uh, drift there was no um, advanced technologies were present that uh, can elaborate its uh, strong evidence later uh, these technologies was developed in 1960 uh, and these technologies were development and measurement of earth magnetic field secondly in 1960 the oceanic plate uh, uh, mapping of oceanic plate was uh, uh, enabled so uh, by studying the earth magnetic field and mapping of oceanic plate uh, we uh, uh, clearly elaborate, elaborate the uh, present continental position um, and this position was best described by j tozo wilson by taking the uh, base of uh, continental drift there are two principles of plate tectonic theory the first one is earth outer layer consists of seven blocks or seven regions and earth outer layer is called lithosphere these seven blocks also called plate we will take one plate from seven to study anatomy this single plate contain continental crust oceanic crust and upper mantle layer lithosphere is lighter and richer but below the lithosphere another layer present which is called asthenosphere and this asthenosphere is heavier and hot liquid so lithosphere it means float over asthenosphere like iceberg same like uh, when the uh, plasma uh, when uh, the flood mosaic model was described uh, that can uh, that described as a uh the protein is floating in the um, ocean of lippert same as he said the different continent is flow float uh, same like uh, ice in the icebergs second principle is the tonic plate act as a independent unit a uh, unit and they can move the nature of liquid mantle enable it for doing this movement so accretion occur accretion uh, means uh, there are the three ways of accretion what is accretion actually when volcano erupt the upper plate moves apart the volcano adds some material on both sides a ridges of plate which is called accretion it means there are two these two plates 
when volcano erupt in this area these both plates will get separated and on the edges of both plate some material will be add on the edges of both plate and the adding material it is called accretion there are three ways of accretion the first one is divergent second is convergent and third is transformation divergent means separation it means when volcano erupt and comes out on the earth surface both these plate plate 1 and plate 2 will be move apart from each other it means they will move away from each other they if they will move away from each other we can say it is a divergent plate boundary and when the volcano erupt and both these plates move towards each other we can say these plates are convergent plate boundary and the third is transformation transformation means due to volcano a volcanic eruption the position of both plates change it means this plate will be moved upward and this plate may be moved downward or to uh, an other different uh, sides of the uh, uh means uh, in any position it can change uh, its position so if the plate change its position it will be transform plate boundary i hope today's lecture is helpful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe stay connected for more lectures allah hafiz